we're not gonna do a video behind the scenes how I make my videos really simple really quickly hopefully it doesn't take longer than what it should so first thing I'm gonna do is fire up Premiere Pro I have it right here there's nothing on it these are the two clips I want to edit plus the sound uh, the music that I usually take is from uh, Epidemic Sounds you can link them up everybody pretty much uses them they they turn out every other week there's like new songs whatever so once you get the basic clips you are now we are now going to editing now I, I plug in all my other stuff so I call it the salty intro these are my my intros and my outros so I'm going to take the ones that I need these three plug into there okay so first things first you just gotta make sure uh, whatever you're doing is a, a format that's not too crazy for YouTube I mean I record in 4k and then I transpose it down so here's how that looks you're gonna drop in a video sequence sequence settings and here's what we change to the 1080 format I'm moving fairly quickly it's okay right click scale the frame brings it back down to what the 4k res was now to a 1080 timeline always control s to save always 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 now let's go through the motions don't go to sleep okay oh usually would be helpful if i can hear actually what i'm editing yeah, yeah. it's on all right so take two because the first one i forgot to turn on the audio or road mic Mm, I really okay so I'll, this this is a video where I'm making a um, how to make better audio for Premiere Pro um, I know that I didn't want to cut anything into the middle so I'm gonna actually put the intro in the beginning which is this one right here come on okay right click ripple delete it saves you a ton of time so anyway I purposely put this in here because my tag is in there. We're gonna click, we're gonna cut rather, let's see, right into where the audio ends. Separate it up, unlink. So either one can be, either one can be touched. We're just gonna delete the audio part. Right click, ripple delete. Okay, so control S, right click, ripple delete. That's like my main go-to's. From here, you can't see any, okay. You can hear the audio, but you can't see video. So that's the Instagram, my little pop-up. So to make the video behind it, kind of go click on where you're gonna go, normal, screen. And there, you can see it's back. Don't go to sleep, okay, it's on. Yeah, yeah, you're learning, I know. Okay, so now we're gonna put the logo right before that, because as soon as this ends, the logo pops up, all right? So this is how it's gonna look without me editing first. So take two, because the first one, <laughs> yeah, because we didn't scale it yet. So same exact way, click onto it. Normal screen, turns everything white. The, the footage behind it can be seen. Now we're gonna click this to three. That's the, the size that I would like it. And then you're gonna put it on a lower right or wherever you wanna put it, doesn't matter like so okay that's this as far as it's gonna go we're gonna increase this so we can see it because I want this to go all the way at the end of my footage okay so you can see it now the other video I'm gonna put it right on top camera you can do it okay hold on let me just put this up top this way Put this. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna link these two. Sync. Audio track two because we we want the the audio in this one. Okay. So essentially, we cut there.
Um, there we go. That's it. That's the stuff. Okay, we're gonna move everything to the top because we can't really necessarily see it. Okay, now that the, uh, the audio is synced, I'm gonna kill the audio on this one because I don't wanna hear what my screamer is capturing, I just wanna hear what the, the mic here is capturing. Don't go to sleep. Okay, it's on, all right. So take two, because the first one, I forgot to turn on the audio, a road mic. Okay. Okay, so from here, we're gonna, we're gonna scale it down. Okay, so you click there, go over here, and it's scaling right now. All right. So from this point, oop. from this point, obviously you don't want my face all up in there really quickly. So we're gonna put it on the lower right, be a little tad smaller. Twenty-five. Okay, so twenty-five is good. I digs it. Put that guy in the corner. Boom. Okay. Mm, I really need to upgrade to the Pro. But anyway, so we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. So I have we fire a Premiere Pro, and we're gonna do the audio really fast. Here's a 30-second clip. Let's just watch it. Okay. So essentially, you're just gonna watch the clip, make sure everything lines up. Once that goes, okay, two things. I'm just gonna clip this one back that way. And then we're gonna add the outro at the end of this. So my other outro is this one. There we go. Control S, always control S, no matter what you do. Okay, and then the music that we got from Epidemic Sounds, we're gonna put it right underneath. Right as soon as the video kind of comes up, that's where I want to, that's where I want the music to start going. Now, this is gonna be loud, so here's what I mean. See how it's all like white up? Let's get the waves. You see how it's peaking over here? One way to fix it really quick. Central sound while it's highlighted, music. While over here, we're gonna click this smooth vocal ducking. Okay, I'm gonna decrease everything, but then you see the slide over here? Just put it ever so slightly. See there. So, before it was stupid loud, now it's gonna be. Don't go to sleep. Okay, it's on. All right. Now you just hear it in the back. So take two, because yeah. the first one, I forgot to turn on the audio. The road mic. You are learning. You are learning. Okay, essentially we're almost done. All right. Now I just gotta boost my audio, the main capture, all together. So we're gonna go effects again. And we're gonna tap in multi band compressor. Put that onto there. While it's still high, we're gonna go down, click edit onto the broadcast. Just click over somewhere so it goes back to here. We're gonna click onto the margin, negative three, and we're gonna let it go. So essentially that boosted all my audio and all the nuances, you can kind of hear it. Control S, always control S, no matter what. Now, from here you can color grade. You can color correct. I don't mind the colors right now. Um, I have a flat profile on here and almost um, it's like slightly desaturated so it's not too intense but let's go through the motions if you want to put a color grade. So I'm going to go on the bottom, adjustment layer, video settings, correct? And we're going to put that on top of everything, everything, all the way out to where we want it. My intro is actually already color graded, so I don't mess with that. Just the, the actual footage itself. So from the adjustment layer, we are going to go to limit your color on the basic correction. You're going to click in browse. Now, 
this is a whole new other thing where you have, there you go, slapped on the setting, uh, where you can get a, a lookup table. This is the custom one I always use for all my videos. It's especially good for sunny days. Yeah, good stuff. So anyway, that's I, I color graded. I don't I don't want to correct any more than that. That's pretty good the way it is. Mm, I really need to upgrade to the Pro. But anyway, okay. Is it? So essentially, we are okay. But am I? I'm actually gonna trip. Clip all of this. Because I forgot I'm, I'm doing a how-to, so you can hear the stuff in there. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Let's make it in there. But instead, we're going to drop this into an even lower level. Okay, so that is essentially the clip. This is me cooking. But, yeah, you can still hear it, but very faint underneath okay control as essentially that's it we are done with the editing now we're gonna make an in i in and out points pretty much so you click the letter i that's the first initial capture press the the down button click o the out point and then we're gonna save it as the video control m for export they're doing construction outside, I'm sorry. Okay, from, from the export screen, H24 is the standard. They have YouTube exports underneath, so you don't necessarily need to do this anymore before you had to save uh, your own setting. This is my own setting from before. That's it. And then we're going to Oops, and then blah, blah, blah. We're gonna export it. Actually, you know what? Let's change the name right now. So this is season two, 16, BTS behind the scenes. Edit, full video. Boom, now you have the MPEG-4 file. All that's literally done, that needs to do. Is to export it. So yeah, that's how we export a video. Hopefully that wasn't too long and um gives you a behind the scenes so peace